As we begin to dig deeper and deeper and get deeper and deeper Allah. on off into it, into what's going on in this young dog case, and we get at the very genesis of what's going on. I'm not going to be known. First off, beloved brothers and sisters, Allah. all praises do go up to the Most High. Whatever name you may call him, he has many names. Allah being the 101. Good morning, family. I just want to touch bases and I want y'all to, you know, I want to kick it with you for five minutes this morning. That's all I need. You know, as the operations on blacks having Having all the honor of full manhood. In order for in order for any man to feel like a man, you have to have a mind like young dog. Y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me. In order for any man to be a man, you have to have a mind independently like young dog. You have to watch how you move and out here. Family. Our hour, our hour, our honor of full manhood that comes only from pride of racial. Racial equality, beloved brothers and sisters. Racial equality, beloved brothers and sisters. Racial equality. It only comes from racial worth and identity. The black man's mind generally operates favorably towards the whites, which is why what's going on even inside this young dog case, we are finding that they, we are finding that not only do the people that set him up hate each other, because you would have to hate yourself in order to hate a good man. Because that means you want what he got. His, you know, you know, he operates favorably toward the, you know, black people, we operate favorably, not me, but as a whole, we operate favorably towards our enemies, our open enemies. And we act negatively towards ourselves. Our own kind. And beloved, it's crazy because here at the house of the God in heaven, on the Melvin Show show, we strive to give back. And we work hard at the house of the God in heaven as your beloved brother to reverse this frame of mind, beloved brothers and sisters. This killing and backdoing and backstabbing of your own holy brother 
of, I mean, of, of your own brother given to you by our holy God. Back doing your beloved brothers like it ain't no going out of style. It's a damn shame. Y'all know the last pharaohs that ever existed, existed and ruled in the 7th century B.C., before Christ. Leaning high on that big boy. They got you in the music. I'm on lean, I'm on lean, on lean, lean, lean. Leaning and dreaming your ass right into the penitentiary and right into the graveyards of hell. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh. And the crazy part is what gets me the most is while we're doing all this back doing and killing up our own beloved brothers and sisters, we're not taking into account what Almighty God is looking at and what Almighty God is doing. That we're not, we're behaving like non-persons like nobody's you know and that's why the enemy had to come and erase every damn thing associated with us you know family beloved brothers and sisters as we begin to go deeper and deeper you know we have to ask ourselves how did they get our mind and turn us against each other like this you know we have to come over here to the house under God in heaven to understand who do? Who do? Not only that, but back up a second, beloved brothers and sisters. Y'all know how. We are the builders of wool. We are the builders of, 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 of cloth, weaving clothing. But after they robbed us of the knowledge of self and enslaved us, they wouldn't even let us wear clothing. Everything that we have, everything that they have, we taught them. They stole it from us. Number two. We are constantly fighting over over women. We are constantly fighting against each other over overwhelmingly odds. See, we chased what we thought was freedom, even though it meant lost inspiration, death and destruction. The Book of Hoodoo by Alicia J. Brown makes it very clear about why they want us to stay away from voodoo. From the epic horrors of the film, and many films, witchcraft is depicted very differently depending on whether the practitioner is black or white. White witches, witches, or <laughs> are often depicted playfully as quirky young people in the crystal shop, or mysterious but ultimately helpful forces of the supernatural. When black witches are defined. We are antagonistic, displicious, often inappropriately sexual, or almost always engaging in something deemed spiritually obscene or unholy, like grave robbing and human sacrifice. And they're the main people, black ho uh, uh, organ harvesting, black body parts on the black market, allegedly. Our bodies are worth more. Black bodies are worth more than any other bodies on the face of the earth in terms of the melanin, melanin and in terms of the endurance of the sun and in terms of us having everything we need to fight off damn near everything that they could throw at us. That's why they use us as guinea pigs, i.e. smallpox, the Tuskegee experiments. Go do your research. When they are really depicted, black people have little representation in the modern witchcraft sense. See, there's nothing wrong 
with hoodoo. Hoodoo is something that we did of going off the dome. Hoodoo is something that we practiced, beloved brothers and sisters, when we wanted to to escape the slave master's way of thinking, when we wanted to reach back into the uh, uh, operate within the penal grand gland and reach out to our ancestors and seek knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as to where we were. That's why we ran to let, to growth and development to find out wisdom, knowledge, and understanding only to find that we, that we got that from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Not Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover is the call. Oh yes he is. And I stand behind my beloved brother Rod Hayes. Yes I do. Back then, this is beginning the time. Black folks been having cheese, even in, in different societies on different jobs. You have cheese lieutenants, so on and so on. Larry Hoover is a king by his own right, by Almighty God. They're scared to release him because of his influence, even though he has denounced anything to do with anything evil or anything to do. With nothing less than uplifting our beloved brothers and sisters. Family, I love y'all. I greet each and every last one of you with the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language taught to us by our mentor, leader, teacher, and guide, the most honorable minister, Louis Farrakhan, in the nation of Islam. Our nation of Islam. And his Christ, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. It is in their names that I greet and leave you. Assalamu Justice for Dolph. Malaikum.